My name is Kate Davis and I'm in the studio at Photon Hollow and today I'm going to further put together the Lucy Clay Slicer. I've never put it together before. It's the first time, first experience. So this is what we have here. The first thing you do for instructions. We've already removed the parts from the boxes. And the second step is to remove the sticker that's on these two pieces. I have to find an edge. This one. So you can see it peels up and has blue markings on it. So just carefully peel it so you're not leaving any behind. All right, this card. lip of it somewhere. Here it is. And the Lucy Clay tools are made out of a very nice material, a dye bond material of steel. So it's very strong. You can tell how um, sturdy it is by the weight. So the dye bond has two layers of steel, and then in between is um, another material. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But all in all, I don't think you could break this. It's very strong. Okay, so there's the, the base. And let's see, this side is kind of the front. I've got the sticker lined up with it. Everything is kind of laid out in order of work. And this one might be a little more tricky. One thing, it has a blade. Don't cut yourself. Another thing is, you may have to loosen these a little bit, one at a time, if you can't get the protective film to come off cleanly. So we'll see what happens, if we have to loosen it or not. Might have to a little bit. Rather just pull it off though. Ah, it's coming apart. It's coming off. I think we'll have to. No, that one came out from under just fine. So I don't have to loosen that one. So be careful when you handle this part because it does have the blade. And it's something you have to keep reminding yourself of while you take this film off. And it's coming off. It's coming off just fine. Maybe.
little bit is stuck in there. I almost take some tweezers or a hemostat to get that. But if you have to loosen it, flathead screwdriver, a nice big one, not any of the teeny ones. We'll, uh, we'll loosen them, and the instructions say to only loosen them one at a time, not fully removing them. So it's looking like it's coming off pretty well. You may have to work on that one a little bit later. Okay, almost there. pieces quite fit. Not sure if I want to do that right now or not. I'm gonna do that later. So to clean that up, let's get the rest of the plastic. We can loosen them just a little. Right. Removed the plastic film. I'm going to set this aside. The next thing we're going to move on to is the sticker. This could be challenging. So, the sticker. It's going to go like this. try my best to line it up to not have any bubbles. I think there was a better way to peel that off. Okay. Let's do it the easiest way for me for now. Line it up really straight. there. Almost. I'd really like for it to be perfect. Come too far over a little bit. Let's try it again. I'm putting it on perfectly, right? So it really is just like Christmas when your children get a whole lot of toys that require a lot of sticker application. And guess who's stuck with it? <laughs> okay, let's test out that length. Let's see if that is perfect. It feels pretty perfect. So, gently avoiding any bubbles burnish. I'm using small circles to burnish it onto the plate. And it looks like I've got it on just about perfectly. <laughs> okay, and the next thing is that there were a few holes that I need to punch out. I've got to find them. They were on the back end. Some bolts. There's one. There's one. I'm just going to further burnish that little area where I found the little dip. 
And there's several ways you can do this. I know I saw someone just using a tiny pin to make little holes and then they push through. I know I've got a little pin somewhere, but I can just make little, little bitty holes with my knife here carefully. Very carefully. that one up. This one. Now let's see. Are there only two? That should work great. And I think you could take a credit card or something kind of stiff but not sharp and go over this to get any air pockets out. There's some small air pockets left. You may want to do that before you put the rest of it together. They're coming out really well. Looks really good. Okay. All right. That's the front. And now, going back to the instruction manual. Now we're going to attach the loopy clay ease. Here's one part. And it will attach to the back like this. And another part. It's got the knob. You'll remove the knob. And it will attach almost at the very back. And it also has stickers. So first, the logo sticker. And you can see it on the box. It goes right on the side. You don't have to be as precise as this one. Thank goodness. Just as long as it looks straight. There we go. Alright, now everyone knows where it's from. And the sticker with the measurements on it. Now this one is going to go on top, right here, and it fits in kind of between these corners, but it's more, it seems to be more of a guide to show you kind of how much you're going at a time. So I want to try to be pretty specific with it. I want to put it on clearly, straight, of course, evenly. Let me get that in my lap. Try to put it right above 